Hey everybody, welcome back to another Static Cast Gaming video. And today is November 19th, 2020. Today Walmart went live selling PS5s again at 3 p.m. Eastern Time and it was crazy. I couldn't even get in there to even try to add the PS5 Digital Edition to a cart. It, it just crashed even faster and harder than ever. And here we are at 7.38 p.m. Eastern Time and this is what they have when you try to search for a PS5 console. So, you know, they're basically saying at this point it's either unavailable or on back order. And I've been trying to look around on YouTube or anything that shows if there's any official statement from Walmart about this or did anyone hear anything. But at this point, I don't even know if the only way to find out if it's going to be showing up on there is to go back in tomorrow and see if it reappears, uh, you know, every day. Uh, and I would say the same thing for all these other websites. You know, if you go on Amazon, PlayStation 5, you know, it's still unavailable. Um, Best Buy, still unavailable. Target, still unavailable. GameStop, still unavailable. And PlayStation Direct is probably going to be the, the best bet because this website at least has some type of, you know, a captcha. It puts you in a queue. It seems to have the best protection from bots. And, you know, I'm kind of upset because PlayStation uh, Direct went live today as well at, uh, I believe, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And I wasn't I, I wasn't expecting it. I kept telling myself I was going to check my cell phone all day and refreshing my browser because I'll just keep my Chrome browser up on my phone at PlayStation Direct and just swipe down and refresh it. And I just got distracted because I do have a job, so I have to work. And I couldn't, you know, I, you know, if I'm busy at work, I just can't do it sometimes. So I ended up missing it and, and, and not getting on there until about maybe almost 425 or something PM. And at that point, it said I had to wait an hour and I knew it was futile. Uh, but, you know, I just feel like I, all I have to do at this point is just keep watching, uh, PlayStation Direct, uh, every single day, you know, every hour. It seems like they like to drop stuff at, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, which yesterday on November 18th, they actually dropped it at 6 p.m. Eastern Time yesterday, and I missed that too, you know, face palm. But I, uh, I just, um, you know, after yesterday and today, I, I just have to try and keep my phone out and refreshing it. If I'm, I don't care if I'm going to the store or shop or, Whatever, uh, you know, I, I, you know, if all else fails, you got to try and keep something on you that'll allow you to check on this every hour. Yeah, even if you have to set an alarm on your phone or something or a timer, you know, your stopwatch and just keep resetting it every hour, you know, a couple minutes ahead uh, of the hour so that you can remember to go in and refresh your browser. But this seems like the best, you know, shot, you know, I think, you know, from what everyone's saying and from what I've seen, at least I've gotten into the queue here a couple times. I just didn't get in early enough. You know, and um, hopefully I will soon, and I hope you do if you're in the same position as me. You know, all of you out there that have jobs and you got a family and you got to cook and do things, it's kind of hard to just sit here at your computer all day and, you know, every hour. But, you know, if all else fails, try to keep your cell phone with you. Keep a Chrome browser open on your cell phone and, uh, you know, make sure your cell phone bill is paid so you don't lose your data, <laughs> you know, your data plan on it or something like that. Make sure you have Internet access on it. And if you have to step out of the house... You know, just remember, you know, every hour, check your, you know, pull up your browser with the PlayStation Direct page already on there. Just swipe down and refresh it. Uh, and, you know, that's the closest thing you can do to being able to really have access to it 24-7. You know, I know it's hard, um, but it just seems like that's what we're going to have to do. Because at this point, with the way that these scalpers are just completely destroying these retailers, I just don't know... I mean, I can't, I'm not saying, I'm not saying give up completely, you know, cause there's always that slight chance. But these past couple times, you know, going into Walmart, it just felt like I really didn't stand a chance. I mean, I couldn't even, as soon as three o'clock hit, hitting refresh did nothing. It's like the page just spun around and it's, it happens that fast. It's like milliseconds. It doesn't matter how fast you are. It just completely locks you out to the point where you don't even stand a chance. And, you know, to me, scalpers are just evil. You know, I, I hope that none of you would even think about buying anything from them because, you know, it's just going to encourage them to keep doing this. But at this point, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to stay positive, but if I'm trying to be realistic at the same time, 
there's a high possibility that every website you try to go on, you can experience the same thing. Uh, you know, if it's a major retailer, I mean, they're probably, especially if they announce the actual time that they're going to do it. But other than that, uh, I would say if they're not announcing the time, you probably need to have all your browser windows open, you know, refreshing, you know, throughout the day, at least every hour, especially on PlayStation Direct. And as of right now, it looks like Walmart isn't even showing the PlayStation 5, uh, as being available right now after today. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to continue to just keep looking and trying to see if anything changes on here. I will still continue to use um, OctoShop. I mean, as you can see, once you load it up, when you load it up on a page where something's available, it will still compare and, and let you know if something's out of stock or in stock. You know, just make sure that when you set this uh, notification you know you, you set you click it to turn it on you check the frequency you know I want to make sure I check it ultra so instant and I'll check it for keep it like checking for seven days and I'll track and there's even a test button I don't know if you saw that but there's even a test button here um, that you can choose and it'll actually pop up a Windows notification now this actually worked today like I said um, but it wasn't exactly at 3 you know when Walmart put it in stock it wasn't exactly at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time it was a good several minutes I think when I was already trying to do it uh, you know refresh the the Walmart page manually and then I got the notification so it's it works but I would say that you want to use this along with your other strategies you know, keeping all your tabs uh, open on your computer, keep refreshing, trying to, you know, search on Google or find out, look up YouTube videos and see what people are finding out as far as when these items might be available. And if you have to step away from the computer or do something, try to keep, you know, your browsers or download the apps for Walmart, Tar Target, Amazon, Best Buy. Have all those apps on your phone, be signed in, have all your credit card information in already. Um, and just try to use your mobile devices as much as you can. For me, PlayStation Direct is easy because I can just use Chrome on my cell phone, keep it saved on PlayStation Direct's website. So as soon as I open Chrome, it just pops right up. All I need to do is just refresh it. Um, and, you know, that that is probably the easiest thing for me to do. I just have to be available and not get distracted and remember to do it. So hopefully, you know, this information helps or, and it's informative. Um, you know, I'm going to post some more gameplay videos. Let me know what you think, if you've experienced anything where you've actually gotten a PlayStation 5 uh, today. Or, you know, if you're going through the same thing I am. And what do you think about the scalpers? You know, post it in the comments. And if you like my content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And, you know, I'll, I'm open to criticism and, uh, in, you know, any advice that you have. Because uh, I want to build my channel, you know, and provide information that people actually want to see. So, you know, I have no problem with that. And um, I'm going to see if I can record some more gameplay tonight. And anything else, any other news that comes out, I'll be sure to post it. All right, thanks. Have a good one.